Hello and welcome, I'm Trino Robinson. Today is Tuesday, June 11th, and this is The Rundown. Now, this is the NBC6 South Florida Rundown on Cozy TV. First on the rundown, we have new details on the death of a South Florida four-year-old. His body was found yesterday inside the Coral Springs apartment where his mother lived. Here's Team 6 reporter Keith Jones with more. Well, we are just getting started on this edition of the rundown. When we come back, Paris Jackson continues to make headlines as she recovers from her recent attempted suicide. We'll have the latest on her recovery right after the break. Internet radio just picked up the proverbial 800-pound gorilla. Tech giant Apple announced on Monday it's getting into the competition. Team 6 reporter Hank Tester has more on this and other announcements made at their big conference. How about some Led Zeppelin? To a packed house in San Francisco at Apple's much-promoted Worldwide Developers Conference, iTunes Radio Unveiled. And once you have a station you love, you can just tap the eye and you could share it with a friend or even create a new station based on this artist or song. Even though some say Apple's getting into the internet radio game kind of late, now its loyal following will likely provide instant competition the to the more established Pandora and Spotfeet. We're starting in the U.S. and we'll be adding other countries over time. iTunes Radio is free with ads to any user, but add free to an iTunes match subscriber. This announcement, one of several at the conference, where the headliner was CEO Tim Cook and featured the unveiling of Apple's new Mavericks operating system. A full power display as well. You can see I have my menu bar. Also introduced the latest Mac Pro desktop with the attraction of being made domestically. This is without doubt the future of the Pro desktop. It is coming later this year. Did say this is a sneak peek. It is designed by brilliant engineers in California and assembled here in the USA. Apple's stock has taken a tumble so far this year, but announcements like these are aimed at reversing that slide. Don't mess with the Apple. Well, when you find yourself eating on the run, those grab-and-go bars can make a perfect snack. They're portable, tasty, and you feel like you're making a healthier choice, right? But that may not always be the case. Well, finally tonight, the feathered family at Tampa's Lowry Park Zoo just got a little bigger. Two new chicks hatched an African penguin and a demoiselle crane. Penguins are thought to mate for life, and this chick is the third for parents, Thumbelina and Flanagan. Meanwhile, when a pair of cranes seem not to know what to do with their first egg, quick-thinking zookeepers slipped the egg under a female sandhill crane. The crane adopted the chick in a fostering technique used to help build up bird populations. Amazing. All in the family. It's a family affair. Well, that does it for this edition of The Rundown. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great day.